All right, we're going to go over how to create a note card. And so here I am in my projects, and you'll notice across the top that I've got dashboard, sources, note cards, and paper. Now I want to go to note cards, but it won't let me until I've chosen a project. So I'm going to choose this Julius Caesar project, and now I can go to note cards. You'll notice I have a couple here already, but over here in the top left, I'm going to click on that plus new and I'm going to create a new note card. So I could say on this one, since this is about Julius Caesar, um, perhaps I was doing some background research on his rise to power. So I'm going to give it that title, but really I can title it anything that I want. And then right below it, I need to find the source. Now, this is the source that I'm using this one from the Junior Scholastic, so I'm going to tie that in. And this is why it's important to do your bibliography before you do your note cards, is because it's really easy to add into that. And you can see I've got two sources. I could add either one. And then I could put the URL if I want to as well here. But you'll see right here it says copy, paste, and annotate here. And it says capture the author's words. So what I can do is go to the article that I've already found and here's this paragraph that I really liked and so I'm gonna highlight that and I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go back into Noodle Tools and I'm gonna to paste this paragraph in oh. okay so I had to use control V on this one or command V if I'm in a Mac and now here's this direct quotation and this is what's really nice about Noodle Tools is it recognizes that this is the copy and paste generation and instead of trying to go against that it's gonna have you or anybody paste in the direct quotation here and then you'll notice over here this is where you're gonna teach your students not to plagiarize by putting it in, in their own words and you can see here it says paraphrase or summary and this is where you're gonna do the teaching of how to take this paragraph and put it in your own words and then the my idea section is how you might use this in the paper um, you know maybe this is going to be in your second paragraph and so that's what you would put in there and so that's all you have to do to create a note card after you've got it set up the way that you want you're just going to hit save and close and then you can see that it's right here um, I can move it around pretty easy if I want to but really easy to uh, create your own note card. Again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New. I'm going to copy and paste the direct quotation from the reading, give it a title, tie it to a source that I have, and if I don't have that source yet, then I want to create that in the bibliography. And then the important part is putting it in your own words. And that's really the key here is, you know, we want to take this quotation that we're using and then make it so that we can use it in our paper. So really kind of nice the way that Noodle Tools has this set up. So go ahead and let's start creating note cards and adding them into our Noodle Tools project.